when I first adopted Happy, you know, one of my dogs, the fat lady. <laughs> we call her Godita. <laughs> Spanish for, you know, well built, <laughs> well built woman. <laughs> when I first saw her, she was in a small cage, yeah? And I don't know, I just say, okay, I come back for you. And when I came back, she was gone. She was not in a cage anymore. Nobody knew where she was. Uh, they all didn't even know where she was, you know, the whole staff didn't know. We had to go around the whole beak, you know. There was an American pound, dog pound, is very big, and oh, thousands of them in there. We had to go everywhere, look for her. The only thing I remember about her, apart from others, was that she had the curly tail, you know. <laughs> but there were so many curly tails in there. <laughs> And so it was very difficult for us to, to recognize. Not too many, but many enough. And so many different, uh, they house them in different areas, yeah? So we went all over, looking, looking. Oh, I almost gave up. I thought somebody took her already. And, but I already reserved her, you know? <laughs> they didn't want uh, to give that day. But they said, come back, because probably late or weekend or whatever. I don't know. I can't remember. And then when we came back, we couldn't find her. Oh, there was the panicking. And then we went around, 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 looking everywhere. And then uh, one of my assistants spotted her because of the curly tail. And they remembered her. But then he didn't even tell me anything. And I'd be still going looking around again. And later, at the, at the end, I was almost crying. And he said, I think uh, there's a curly tail in that room. Maybe it's her. <laughs> I said, are you kidding? Why didn't you tell me? And then it was her. Because when she saw me, she jumped right away. You know, not all the dogs were jumping, only her. Because she remembered, I promised her that I'd come back, and she knew that. And of course, I recognized her when I saw her, nah? and she jumped, jumped, jumped all over the place, you know, trying to get out to me, you know, waking her tail all the way, you know. <laughs> and then when they broke her out, oh my gosh, she strangled herself against that uh, kind of the... They don't have a proper leash in the center, you know? They just uh, tie a string around her neck and she almost strangled herself, you know, her tongue was coming out, but she wanted to jump to, to come to me, just me. And the whole room was full of people, women and men alike, Asians, Americans, they all looked. It's not like I was the only one this size or this kind of race, you know? And then she only jumped to me because she remembered me. Just one word, just one promise. So believe me, they know. Okay? They know. You don't have to be a psychic or a dog talker <laughs> to understand their language. They understand you. They understand English, Russian, German, French, whatever you speak to them. They understand very well. Because dogs, they understand words by pictures. Yeah? Whatever words you speak, it forms a, a photo, a picture in their mind. And that's how they understand you perfectly clear and no mistake about it. Every language, every word, has a symbol, invisibly, invisibly, okay? So that's why I also tell you, uh, be also pure in speech. Yes, because it does have an impact on the people who hear it. And it does have a real meaning. It does form a picture and it does send some energy, bad or good, to the environment that you're walking around in, okay? So that's why we have to be pure in speech and actions and thought as well. Yeah, everything has a reason, okay? I'm not trying to control you or anything. I'm just telling you all the scientific evidence <laughs> and scientific uh, logic behind uh, the precepts that we keep. Yeah? Okay, everything we think also forms sometimes a picture. The people can see it as well. Some people can, not everybody can. But nevertheless, it will be around in the ether, you know? and people can perceive it, and the energy does stay. Uh, it depends on how strong uh, you mean it at the time of saying it or thinking it. It will last longer or it will last shorter, but it will last. It sometimes it lasts for a long time, almost forever. You hear about the curse, you know, <laughs> from generation to generation. It's true. It is true. It doesn't have to be a witch to form this kind of curse energy, you know? It can come from some person with strong hatred or strong love or strong revenge um, ideas in his head. When he says it with all his mighty power, then it, it will come true. 
whether it's a curse or the blessing. Yes, that's why sometimes you come to a priest or some holy person and say, "Please bless me. Yeah, give me some blessing," because it does work. Eh? It's not superstition. Yeah. Uh, in uh, maybe in the future, we do not need television or anything. We can just tune in <laughs> wherever we want, and the picture comes out. And that's what telepathy is all about. Dogs, animals, they have more telepathic power than we do, because we lost it. Many of us lose it, because uh, through the complication of survival network, yeah, we have to think too much in a, in a physical term and do too much in the physical field, yeah, and think too much in the physical obligation, yeah, because of survival. So we are more and more physical every day, and that's how we forget the telepathic self, you know, the telepathic ability that we had. Some people still retain it, minimum or maximum or half-half. Sometimes you seem, in some instance, you seem to have understood what your partner was saying without he speaking it aloud. That is when you, uh, you know, collect a little scattered ability of, of, of psychic power that you, you have. Yeah. Now and again it comes out. Yeah, and that is true. And can you imagine if we didn't lose it all? We have it all the time. Hmm. But it's also good in a way because <laughs> if you have that power, we don't always hear the good, but always the bad also. <laughs> and it will be, you know, a little bit too too much for us, eh? Yeah, too much. Yeah. Why do we talk so much about this thing? What else? What else is there? Yeah, yeah. Talking, talking. Keep talking. Then I have ideas for you. <laughs> yeah, there. Good evening, Master. Evening. Afternoon. I'm a new initiate, oh. the 2nd of October. I was initiated. And before I was initiated, I used to practice meditation anyway. Yeah. I um, made a promise to Lord Krishna that if I was sent to true Master, mm. I would... <laughs> Do something, which is, <laughs> which is actually try and touch my master's feet. So, oh God, <laughs> <laughs> that is to to pay respect to my master. Now, master, I don't. Uh, um, big deal. <laughs> I I know it might not be a big deal, but do I have to fulfil this promise? No. Okay, Be because it's been bugging me. It's, I was thinking, you know, all years I was thinking, okay, I might build a temple for the Lord Krishna or, or to make a meditation house for everybody or something. Touch master feet. Oh, no, no. My foot. <laughs> mm. Are you Indian, by the way? Indian no, I'm not Indian. What that, are you? Um, I'm Jamaican. I'm West Indian. West Indian? Also <laughs> Indian. <laughs> but I just like reading the Gita. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. You're from West Indies. Okay, somehow Indian anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you what, the Indian people, when they see a respectable person, maybe a king or a good ministers or the priest or the monk or a master of any kind that touch their feet anyway by you know to show respect yeah and uh, that's that so your promise is sounds like <laughs> i don't know what it is <laughs> my foot what kind of promise <laughs> no it's just to show respect if i was given a true master uh, i don't know how do you know i'm a true master so that's that's the question are, hanging in the, in the air. I believe that you are in oh. my heart. <laughs> well, what if you to find another truer master tomorrow, and then you have to touch feet again? <laughs> Not save it, huh? <laughs> no, no, you are the truer. Save it until you're sure. Huh? You've just been initiated not long, right? Yes. Okay, so save it until you're so sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure you are. I mostly don't encourage people to f do anything respectful to me. And most people, they want to do that. Number one, they pay respect. Number two, they get the blessing. So your promise is like a harvest. It's not like any, any, anything at all that I could feel pleased to give it to you. Yeah? This is your promise, not mine. <laughs> I didn't promise Lord Krishna to give you my foot to touch. <laughs> Did I? So I don't have to fulfill this promise, do I? No? Yeah. If you have some greater promise, 
oh, I probably will be, you know, impressed, and I would help you <laughs> to fulfill it. But this kind of promise is is nothing, no big deal. It sounds more selfish to me, right? Yes. So forget it. <laughs> Some other time, you know, other day when you, some guy came and touched my feet, I let him. But not you. <laughs> Any other things? Yes. Give him the Michael. Happy New Year, Master. Yeah, Happy New Year again. <laughs> yeah. Fine. And it's very good to meet you in person, finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, do you have any tips for when I'm meditating, how I can get the most, the best quality out of my meditation to make my meditation as deep as possible? Keep trying. Yeah? Keep trying. Practice makes a master. Hmm? Keep trying. Difficult because the world is too turbulent, there are too many things, you know, distracting us all the time. But the thing is not about success or not, it's about trying, okay? Trying, that is training your perseverance, your sincerity. That's what counts, eh? That's what counts. Because God doesn't always pick up on the one who makes the most of the meditation, <laughs> but the sincerity, yeah? Okay? Just walk one step and the 99 steps will be met by heaven, okay? Just try, that's it. Try your best, that's all. Okay? Try your best. Thank you. Ah, you're welcome. Yeah, anyone else? I told you many times, yeah? Try your best to do your meditation, and if you want it to help yourself, then help others. Yeah? Help your brothers and sisters. Help to spread spiritual news. Yeah? That is the best to help yourself. Okay? Material help is not the greatest gift that we can offer to other people. Spiritual gift is the best. Yeah, sister? Somebody behind there? Or? Yeah? No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, here, yeah, the blue one. <laughs> um, hi, Master. Um, I just wanted to say, firstly, you look absolutely beautiful, as always. <laughs> Very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> um, the makeup does help. <laughs> <laughs> it's just quite amazing to actually have you in real life <laughs> oh. <laughs> sitting in front of me. So you think I'm not real, kind of? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted to ask a question. Um, sometimes I have a little bit of difficulty in my concentration, um, where sometimes I can concentrate better than others, but sometimes where my concentration is scattered. And I just wanted to know if you could help me um, to find the best way to try and concentrate better. Um, so that my concentration is more strong and one-pointed, because I find sometimes I have difficulty yeah. with that. I know, I know, I know. They all do. Ask them. <laughs> You're not the only one. You can say we. You don't have to say I. <laughs> you know, uh, don't worry. It just the concentration doesn't always depend on you alone. Yes? It depends on what you have just eaten, even, <laughs> or whom you have just met. Right or which television show you have just seen, yeah? Okay. Or, or what magazine you have just read. Yes, it's like that. It's very tricky. And or wherever you have just been, you know, <laughs> the environment, the energy of that place. Yeah. It's, it's always like that. So just try your best, that's all I can say, yeah? Okay. Try your best and don't worry, okay? You already liberated, believe me. The level above, so don't worry about it. all of you here, okay? Thank so at least the level. Yeah. <laughs> all of you at least the level. All right? All right. So you don't worry about it. Thank now, you very much. Now you much. can <laughs> <laughs> don't have to run so much. Just walk, okay? <laughs> I love you, Master, with all my heart. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> love you too, baby. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being a good kid. <laughs> Thank you for trying your best. I know you try your best and I'm very pleased. Cry with what? Happy or...? <laughs> okay. Replenish yourself with some liquid, <laughs> otherwise you're dehydrating. <laughs> Crying too much and dehydrate. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll sit there. Sit here, sit here, sit here. Sit here. Yeah, right here. Okay, just a little bit there, so I might be there, so she doesn't have to, you know, the camera, that's all. Anyone else want to cry openly? I have only one apple, okay? <laughs> apple juice. Do I have one more juice there? <laughs> yes? I did want to cry because it's been like... Um I knew you were here, but I couldn't be with you New Year's Eve. It's and right, I you? felt like I've climbed mountains to see you today. Oh. I feel like I've been to the Himalayas and back. <laughs> the turmoil inside. What happened? Um, just obstacles, family, I know, I everything. Know. And yesterday I went it. to the London Centre. I, I just dropped everything. I had just had to go and then you didn't come. So I thought, my God, this I is... I tried yesterday. I know, I know. But I tried yesterday. Your obstacles and my obstacles. Yes, I know. Believe me or not. I know. I've been crying all day yesterday for you guys. And today I knew in my heart that you're in London, but... I will. I would see you somehow. I knew. Yeah, then it's good. I knew. Telepathy. I knew. <laughs> and, and then it's good. It's just I'm overwhelmed and I'm in ecstasy. I no, I've got no emotions, but yeah, I'm full of emotion. I understand, I understand. It's it's. I can't explain it. You know That's how good. I feel. Yeah, I and know. it's just wonderful. Whew, yesterday talking about it's, obstacles. Yes, I oh, know. I'm not telling you. I know. I it's, feel it. It's more difficult for me to see you than you to see me even. Yeah. I have to swim also mm. upstream, mm. you know, it's not I, yeah, just you. I feel like I've climbed mountains <laughs> to be with you today. I climbed two mountains. I, <laughs> 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 yes, we both... Inside, in, I know, inside, I know. It's, I know. It's, we both have to climb mountains to be with each other, believe yeah. me. It's not that easy for me either. Yeah. Even I'm already at the front door, if something would happen to let me have to go away. And I know your heart is aching, and that's why I cry sometimes, you know? I cry for you. Yeah. Because I cry because I know your feeling. Not just your feeling, I mean... I know. The people, know. my people's I feelings. Understand. Yes. Yeah. No, I understand. Understood. I understand, baby. I've been crying almost all day yesterday. Yes, it's not for me, huh? Big I, I know. <laughs> it's just... Yes, in a while. Are you okay now? Happy? Good. Đêm qua ta mơ chăn gối hiền hòa Trầm thoáng hương đưa ngày đó mặn mà Người còn bên ta tình còn bao la Tình còn bao 